New national guidelines now requires mammogram facilities notify patients if they have dense breast tissue. Laura Simon spoke with the St. Louis Regional Medical Director of Breast Surgery at SSM Health St. Clair Hospital. And that's tonight's SSM Health Medical Minute. Mammograms are a vital tool in the fight against breast cancer. But knowing when to start screening and what to do if you're at a higher risk can be confusing. The consensus on when to start yearly screening mammograms is at age 40. New guidelines from the FDA now require mammogram facilities to inform patients if they have dense breast tissue. It's a factor that can make it more difficult to detect cancer. As we get older, the breast tissue gets replaced by fat. So when you have dense breast tissue, it means your breasts are still mostly comprised of breast tissue. This can be tricky for mammograms because dense breast tissue is white on a mammogram and cancer is white on a mammogram. So we always worry that there's small cancers that could be hiding in that dense breast tissue. For women with dense breast tissue or a family history of breast cancer, doctors recommend additional imaging beyond a standard mammogram to make sure nothing is missed. If you have dense breast tissue, we recommend additional imaging beyond just the yearly screening mammogram that we recommend starting at age 40. So for some women, that's adding in whole breast ultrasound for your screening. And for some women with family history, that can also be adding in breast MRI as part of your screening. For the SSM Health Medical Minute, I'm Laura Simon.